All right, so I haven't really seen, I've only seen like one uh, tutorial, if you will, of uh, how to install a aftermarket regulator, voltage regulator, uh, for your alternator. Uh, I had a Mechman, or have a Mechman, uh, alt, aftermarket alt, and uh, my voltage was spiking because my engine idles uh, lower than uh, what was needed for the alternator so I sent it back didn't know what the hell was wrong and I said uh, either up the idle or get a voltage regulator so I got a voltage regulator um, it's real easy um, the hardest part for me was just finding a spot to stick it uh, what you'll need I don't think you need one but from the ones that I saw you do or it's easier is just the regular let's see if you can see this uh, Bosch or any 5 pin relay uh, 87, 86, uh, 30, 85, and 87A are the uh, pin numbers. Um, we're going to use all of them except for the 87A. So basically, how I have it set up is the 87A um, goes from this from the relay to the positive on the regulator goes from reg uh, this one is positive negative and then your field so from the 87 on the pin on the regulator I mean on the uh, relay goes to the positive on your regulator. The 86 wire is this one right here. A little small, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I've got it set up inside the cab to a uh, remote, basically a remote wire. Um, I've got it to where the, if the engine's off and I'm not on an accessory, then this is off. Otherwise, this would be continually running all the time and drain your battery. The 85, <clears throat> it's going to be this one right over here goes to your ground so I've got it set up to where it comes over and I just got it grounded right here make sure you get off all the paint and uh, make sure it's good ground otherwise you'll have some voltage issues but I have it grounded right there I also have another ground from the negative that's grounded back over here as well on the regulator uh, the number 30 is a constant power. So I believe I have it this one right here. Yeah, there's the one about the bottom of it. Either way, um, number 30 on the relay goes to constant power. So some guys hook it straight up into the fuse box. I've got mine going straight over to the battery post and it works just fine. Um, and then it comes with a potentiometer. I've got mine set up where I just had it, I had enough room in here in my fuse box so I just drilled a hole and stuck it up that way it's clean and I can adjust it that way so once again you've got the positive the negative and then the field on your relay you should have pin number 87 which is it goes from positive to your regulator you've got a remote which switches this on and off that goes to number pin uh, 86. Your 85 is your ground. And then your number 30 is your constant power. So just hook that up to whatever. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see it. On the Mech Man, uh, they need to be set up for this, but it has a positive and a negative. So this wire goes to your field. And then this one goes, the black wire obviously goes to your negative. So I have those set up over here as well. So I've got my field wire from the alternator. And then I also have the uh, black from the alternator also goes to the negative. So I, uh, I hope that helps somebody. Um, yeah, good luck.